Hi everybody, this is a flip through video for 143 Handmade. This is The Merchant of Venice, is the cover that was used. And this is a permabound, what they call permabound library cover. These covers, I'm telling you folks, they last forever. So here's, I have a spine dangle that I've created using a bunch of um, antique, vintage, modern, and modern buttons. Some are metal, some are plastic. Some are on these little strings, some are sewn onto lace. There's, um, so there's lots of layers there. It does come off. It is just a clip on. It's not um, adhered, so you can take it off for um, opening the journal. And before we open it, let's go ahead. It is just over four inches wide by right at seven inches tall with a three quarter inch spine, um, exposed spine. So here we go. There are um, a total of 98 pages that are bound into the book, but the, with all the tuck-ins and everything, there's over a hundred pages worth of writing space. So right away we have this little tuck right here and it will fold out. This is cardstock, scrapbook paper, tuck with tags, um, graph paper, coffee stained paper, um, scrapbook paper that has music on it. This is out of a, a notebook, spiral belt, spiral edge notebook. Another fold out. And this one is a pocket as well. And this one has a little journal card in it. So, uh, we have another fold out. And this is out of a how to draw book. Some coffee stained binder paper is the center pager, page here. So, we'll go through the other half a little bit quicker. I'll let y'all already know what's there. And then... Let's see, oh yeah, here's another tuck with an envelope, and there is something in the envelope. So there's lots of things to explore, different textures to feel. So that was the first signature. Here's the second signature. Coffee stand paper, tracing paper, binder paper, map, fold out map page. This is another fold out. And yet another fold out. I got a little fold out crazy there, didn't I? Out of a notebook, out of a binder paper page. Here's an envelope, an envelope that has been bound in and then a little notebook inside the envelope. Here's an envelope with tags and stuff tucked in that has been mounted as a pocket with another tuck behind it. Turning the page, we have this lovely pull out and then our center page is this um, coloring book page. And another tuck spot with tags already in it. There's always a few little finishing touches, aren't there? I added this as a little butterfly insert on the other end of that. This is the flap from the envelope. See? So, binder page, notebook page, fold out. Coffee stain page, map fold out, binder paper, tracing paper, coffee paper. And then I, this is the original um, library card that was in the book. And I've just tucked an altered playing card, specimen card in there. So there is, it is worn. It has been um, in stained in places. I have wiped it down with um, Clark's wipe type, you know cleaning supplies. So, and just stick this right back in here. If it's just right in that edge and then flip that down and there we go. She's ready to, let me see if I can get it to drape well. There we go. That's kind of how it will look, you know, and you can arrange it however you want. So, but um, like I said, was saying is that, you know, it is, it has been cleaned several times. It is stained from use. It is a vintage cover. 
I believe from the, the early 70s is the the oldest or newest books I have at the moment. So thank you so much for checking this out. Let me know what you think. Um, and she is for sale in my Etsy shop. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.